Hi, in this video we are going to talk about a function or a feature of Excel which is view file side by side. So these are the options that we will be talking about in this video. These are tiled, horizontal, cascade, vertical and then there is another option which is synchronous scrolling. Now suppose you want to compare the data which is in this file with some other file. So let me create one new file. So after clicking Ctrl plus N from my keyboard, I can see that Excel has created one another blank workbook. Now if I want to see both the files together on the screen at the same time, what I can do is I can go to my view tab. From here, if I select the option, let me put my cursor on that option so you can see the name. So the name of the option is view side by side. This is present right over here. Now if I press this button, then I can see that both my files or both my workbooks are now present together on the screen and they are present in a manner that I, uh, one file is here and another is here or I can say these are present in a horizontal manner. So this is your horizontal view of uh, side by side viewing of files. Okay. Now if I scroll one file then you can see that the other file is scrolling in the same manner. Right. If I go down then again you can see that it is scrolling in the same manner. If we go in the right direction, it the other file will go in the right direction too. Why this is happening? Because uh, the bil below the side by side option, there's another option. If we look at this option right here, and if I put my cursor on it, then you can see that the name of the option is synchronous scrolling. It means if you scroll one file, uh, if this option is ticked or checked then you can see that if you scroll one file the other file will scroll automatically. So if you uncheck it or unselect it then if you scroll one file then you can see that other file will stop scrolling with this one. Why this is happening? Because now we have unchecked the option which is synchronous scrolling. Now this is a very difficult view to actually compare data into files. right? Now I want to compare data and I want to see my files in a manner that I can compare data easily. So how I can do that? I can actually compare the files when these are available in vertical manner, right? So from the view tab, if I go to this option in the window group, which is arrange all, then a dialog box will appear and it will ask you how you want to see your data. So there are four options in tiled manner, horizontal, vertical or cascade. So right now it is in horizontal manner. If I press vertical and click OK, then you can see that now my files have been arranged in a vertical manner and it is actually very good to if you are going to compare your data. Now you can see the data better, right? So this is your vertical view. Now suppose you have more than two files. For two files, vertical view is fine, OK, but you have more than two files. So let me create two more files. So I will press Ctrl N uh, twice from my keyboard and then I can see that I have now four files, right? The two files which are present already and these two new files. Now it is not looking good and I cannot compare the data in the all the four files uh, at the same time. So to do that or to arrange them at the same time on the screen, we need to again go back to our view tab and then from here go to windows and then arrange all. Now instead of vertical or horizontal manner, I will go for tiled manner. What Excel will do is Excel will arrange all the available file in a manner that you can see all of them together. Okay. Now if I click on tiled and then press OK, then you can see that all the four files have been arranged and I can see the data in all the files. Now what is the benefit? Suppose if I have something written over here, I can compare it with this uh, cell also in this file. If something is written over here and I want to compare it with this file, I can do that also. Or I can actually create a combination of data. Suppose here if I write down 25, right? And if I want to connect this data in this file with this cell in this file uh, which is book 2. So the data in book 3 I want to connect it within data uh, in book 2. 
this. And here I want to write my formula as equals to, I will take the value from this cell. Now you can see that Excel automatically fetched the location of that particular data, right? The sheet name and the cell number. Now if I press enter, then you can see that the same data has been copied in this cell. If I make any change inside this cell, that will appear in this cell also. Now if I change the formula, this formula to plus 10, what will happen is there's 25 and in this cell, it is taking the value of this cell and it is adding 10 to it, right? So 25 from here and then adding 10 to it will become 35. If I make any change here, suppose if I change this value to uh, 40, what will happen is in this sheet, uh, it will change to 50. Why? Because we have given a formula which is fetching a value from this cell in this sheet and then adding 10 to it, right? So this is how you can use the tiled option. Then we have uh, another option which is cascade. So if I go to again view tab and then window and then arrange all, then the last option is cascade. So what it will do is it will arrange file in, uh, in a manner that one file will be in the back of other file. So if I press OK, then you can see that one file is visible in front. Then we have another file in the back. Then we have another file in the back of that file. Then again like this. If I open new file, then the sheets will be arranged in this manner only. So right now I know that four files are open. So if I go, if I want to go to another file, I can just click on it like this. Okay. So these are the four options and the synchronous scrolling option, which we talked about today. And these are actually very helpful. If you are going to compare your data or if you are going to compare your files, these options will definitely going to help you. So this is all for this video. Thank you.